It was the beauty all around here in Steamboat Springs that drew Dan to this part of Colorado. He had only recently moved down to the Front Range and he was on a very easy hike when tragedy struck. Just the most genuine, kind-hearted person I've ever met in my entire life. His laugh was contagious, lit up a room. Friends remember a man who lived life to the fullest, taking advantage of all that Colorado's great outdoors have to offer. Probably almost anyone that spent a considerable amount of time with him would consider him their best friend. They also remember Daniel as a genuine good guy. His death does not make any sense. There's nothing to say. Um, he wasn't at the wrong place at the wrong time. He was at the right place at the wrong time. There just happened to be a rattlesnake in his path and it doesn't make any sense. Daniel was an endurance athlete, often spotted running and biking around Steamboat. He only moved down to the Golden area a few months ago. It was a hike a few miles from his new home when he was bitten by a snake. Within hours, he died. I'm still in shock. <laughs> Friends try to remember the good times shared enjoying this beautiful place alongside their friend Daniel as they try to come to terms with his untimely death. The coroner is working on a theory right now that the reason that this proved to be a fatal bite could be because of an allergy to that snake venom or possibly where he was bitten. All of that information is still unknown. Those test results they're waiting on won't be back for a few weeks. Reporting in Steamboat Springs, I'm Matt Kroschel and I'm covering Colorado First.